Hey, I'm Terry Sabell Foy, your cheerleader of dreams. Today, I wanna to take you with me to the dollar store to show you some creative, inexpensive ways to declutter and organize your life. But first, can I ask you a favor? Would you subscribe to this channel by pushing the arrow below? And of course, that just lets me and my team know that you're enjoying these weekly videos and you'd like for me to continue providing them. And I want you to know how truly, truly grateful I am to have you as one of my subscribers. Now, when it comes to organizing the entryway, the foyer, or the back door entrance of your home, these areas are so important to be clutter-free because they are the first impression of the house. Unfortunately, this is where most of the family dumps their belongings. This area of the house sets the tone for what we enter and exit every day. So when you walk into an area filled with junk, it can instantly drain your energy and set a negative tone for the family. An organized, clean entryway makes life peaceful. So number one, bins and baskets. Purchase bins or baskets and assign one for each family member with their name on it. Store their belongings each time they enter the house. You know, stuff like newspapers, sports equipment, gloves, jackets, scarves. Number two, multi-purpose hooks or hanging systems. Attach hooks to a decorative piece or to hang on the back of the door for items such as car keys, coats, backpacks, dog leashes. You know, it reduces time spent searching every morning and they're easily accessible as you run out the door. The bathroom. No matter how big or small your bathroom is, there are ways to keep it clutter free. In addition to being more attractive and sanitary, a tidy bathroom makes it quicker to get ready in the morning. So how do you organize this space? Well, my third point is your average kitchen utensil tray is perfect for arranging hairbrushes, combs, and all those little barrettes and hair ties that easily turn into your bathroom drawer from being nice to being a junk drawer. Now, it's not just for storing knives, spoons, and forks. You can place your hair essentials in this streamlined, organized space that typically fits any size drawer. Number four, cardboard magazine holders. You can use a cardboard magazine holder to store your curling irons, flat irons, brushes, combs, neatly on the countertop with this decorative piece. Now, this one is funny. Number five is a Tic Tac dispenser. Now, what in the world is this for? Well, Redbook Magazine recommended a creative way to store all your loose bobby pins by utilizing an empty Tic Tac dispenser. What a unique way to locate those tiny little pins immediately. Number six, cookie jars. You can use cookie jars purchased from the local dollar store to house your nail polish collection or buy several clear cookie jars to group certain colors together. Number seven, a muffin or loaf pan. You can sort your lipsticks and place them in a miniature muffin or loaf pan, typically stored in the kitchen, and they make a perfect storage for all those lipstick tubes just piling up in a bathroom drawer. Number eight, a cake tray. You can enhance your bathroom vanity and save a little extra space by using a two-tiered cake tray to display your perfumes and lotions. Number nine, buckets. Get a bucket and store all of your bathroom cleaning products in one space under the sink. This makes it more efficient to quickly clean sinks, toilets, and bathtubs routinely rather than dreading walking to the laundry room or the kitchen sink to find the bathroom products. It's easily accessible and it can become just a part of your nightly ritual. Let me say a quick point here. Keep as few things as possible and necessary on your vanity or countertops because it makes the overall appearance just look neater and it makes it easier to wipe clean each morning. Jewelry. Number 10, a paper towel holder. I love this idea of utilizing a paper towel holder to stack bracelets neatly. It allows you to use vertical space and see what you have at a glance. Number 11, an ice cube tray. Use a simple, inexpensive ice cube tray to house your small earrings and prevent them from getting all mixed up. Number 12, 
nuts and bolts organizers. Use this for larger earrings and necklaces and you can put labels on them like I have so it's not overwhelming finding what you need and even all the colors you need. Let's talk about the closet. Number 13 is shower hooks. Now a great way to organize your belts is by hanging shower hooks on your closet door and organizing your belts on those hooks. And you can also use the hooks to hang scarves, bathrobes, and even long necklaces. 14, shoe bins or tubs. You can take advantage of those nifty hanging shoe organizers or just average bins by rolling up your sweaters to fit perfectly in the cubbies as well. 15, empty shoe boxes or bins. You can use just your empty shoe boxes to organize your socks and undergarments in the drawers. And it makes it easy to locate what you need and prevents the small items from just getting lost in the back of the drawer. Let's move to the kitchen. Number 16, a shower caddy. You can repurpose a shower caddy on the side of a cabinet or inside the pantry door to display your onions, peppers, fruits, etc. Number 17, I thought this was really creative. It's an empty tissue box. You know, we all have those plastic bags from the grocery store just crammed in a cabinet or under the kitchen sink, just in case we need them. They take up so much space and never look organized. Well, try using an empty tissue box to store them inside and easily pull out when you need them. Number 18, clear canisters. You can reduce the storage needed in your pantry by purchasing clear canisters and emptying your cereal boxes, rice, or other box goods into these containers on the countertop. It frees up space, looks creative, and allows you to see how much of each item is remaining. 19, cardboard magazine holder. Again, you can take advantage of storing sandwich bags, tin foil, and plastic wrap in a typical cardboard magazine holder. It keeps them straight, organized, and easy to grab and stores neatly in the pantry or in a cabinet. Number 20, utensil holder. Using your average utensil holder, you can arrange your creative taste and specialty teas by displaying them neatly in this typical cutlery tray and place them in a kitchen drawer or pantry shelf. 21, a vase. Utilize the vase that once housed your roses by storing your tall utensils such as spatulas and spoons in this beautiful piece and storing it on the counter. 22, cookie jar. Rather than trying to hunt them down each time you decide to make shapes, place all of your cookie cutters inside the cookie jar. Let's move to your home office. 23, a spice rack. The old spice rack is not only used for spices these days. It can also house your desk necessities in a creative cool way to display on your desk. Use individual spice containers for paper clips, thumbtacks, rubber bands, small post-its, and so much more. 24, a garment bag. Place all your tubes and rolls of wrapping paper in a garment bag and hang it in the guest bedroom closet or hall closet. The garage. Now the craziest thing about a cluttered garage is that most of the stuff taking up the space is worth very little compared to the costly car that's parked out in the driveway because there's no room in the garage. I speak from experience. <laughs> so in the garage, Number 25, let's use the spice rack again. Now this is a creative way to organize all those little nuts, bolts, screws, and nails from getting mixed up in a drawer. You can organize them, display them, and prevent them from getting all mixed up. So pick and choose from this variety of organizing tips and tricks to get your home the way you desire it to be. Remember, cleanliness and organization make you feel good, keeps your mind clear, presents just an excellent image to those around you, and it builds your confidence. There is a natural connection between the order of your environment and the state of your mind. Outer order equals inner calm. You like that? I love that statement. So let me know in the comments which tip you like the most. I would love to hear, because some of those are kind of crazy and fun. And don't forget, get your free book shipped right to your house. It's called Declutter Your Way to Success. All you have to do is click the link in the description of this video and you only pay for the shipping. I paid for the printing of the book. That's my gift to you for being the best subscribers ever. And remember, I'm cheering you on to live your dreams. Hey YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to my channel by clicking the button below. And for more inspirational content, click one of the two videos right here. And don't forget, I'm cheering you on to live your dreams.